making sure that we were in uh, our right spots to give each other the right space. What was the feeling like as a team coming out of that game too? It was a lot of conversation. Like, what was just kind of the mindset of you guys after a loss like that? And how do you kind of rally back together from that? Uh, I mean, you never want to lose, especially in the playoffs. But you know, no, nobody was down, right? Uh, it's a long series. Um, we were confident that we could come down here and, and, and play better. Um, and that's what we did tonight. We played better than we did the other day. Jason, on your right, what do you think generated the offense in the second quarter? Uh, one, we were getting stopped, right? Uh, they're a tough team to play against when uh, they can set up their defense. So getting stops and being able to run and transition, find cross, master, cross matches and things like that. Um, so easy answer. Got stops. Jason, they, they missed a lot of them with the momentum shots that they were getting in game two, um, stringing the run together. What was it that kind of prevented that? Was it something like when you let a team get comfortable, they start to hit those, and, and you do let them get comfortable? <clears throat> what, what went into that? Yeah, like you said, uh, I think our attention to detail and uh, on the defensive end of the day, it was a lot better than last game and uh, tried our best, right, to just not let let them get comfortable in the rhythm. Um, they're going to make shots, but uh, just try to make it as tough as you can, as often as you can. Yeah, Jason, defensively, like Joe said, there weren't many adjustments. Was it just a matter of picking up the intensity and, and taking pride in guarding your yard? Yeah, giving up offensive rebounds and uh, you know, closeouts. We gotta have some better closeouts um, in, in game two, where they just, you know, we kind of gave up some walk up threes and things like that. Um, just better at contesting. Uh, it was, you know, kind of an effort thing. Kristoff said that game two was his first game with the Celtics. The last two days were really long for him. So, what did you see out of him is it's just the demeanor coming into this game, and then how important was it for you guys to get him some easy shots in his opening? Yeah, I mean, probably our most important guy on our team uh, for what we're trying to accomplish. So, uh, no doubt in my mind, I knew he was going to have a better game and bounce back. Uh, and, you know, just the way you start out the game uh, on both ends of the floor, being active, right? When he's protecting the rim, contesting shots, you know, we're all a whole different team. And then Peyton, he just kind of came out with that aggressiveness of both ends. You guys are the super talented team. You know, Miami's is a great scrap team. How important is it to have a guy like Peyton who can do that, you know, kind of play on that kind of level too? Uh, it's great, man. Peyton uh, is the most one of the most confident guys I've ever been around. Uh, any given moment, you know, he, he walks out there like he's a you know he's the best player, and um, to have that confidence. It's, it's special when we need him to be like that, right? He's being aggressive on both ends, um, being able to attack closeouts and create his own shot, create for others. Um, and to have that off the bench is, is special. Yes, I just want to go back to the start of the game. You started tonight similar to what you did in game one and how important that is for you. I'm curious for you, how important is that to just get that start going to set the tone for the rest of the game? Uh, I mean, yeah, you would love to have a big lead to start every game, but it was just more about uh, our attention to detail on both ends of the floor, mainly on the defensive end, right? Can we can we start the game and not let them be comfortable? Uh, you know, regardless if they get shots or not, they just try to make them work for everything that they get. Jason. Um you coach said uh, you played a really hard and strong defense tonight. Uh, why strong and why hard uh, to defend this man here? Thank you. Uh, they got a lot of actions, right? They, they move a lot. Uh, they're not really going to play isolation in basketball. So just got a lot of actions. Uh, you know, so set a lot of flare screens and rip screens and, and ball screens. And they cut, uh, so they just keep back. Jalen mentioned me on the floor, you guys are still kind of figuring out your identity in the playoffs. What does that look like to you in your mind? Um, I, and everybody knows how talented we are. You know, can we be a tougher, harder playing team? You know, you combine that with our talent level, things going to be hard to beat us. Uh, but, you know, can we start off every game, you know, 
essentially punching first and, and, and not reacting. Um, that's the test for us that we got to be up for every single night. Last uh, question. MG on Remix Sports Media. Jason, you were able to draw many fouls utilizing that patented up big and getting keep the penalty in the air. Was it a goal of yours to get so hard as much as you could? And how do you put that effectively impacted your team in this victory? Um, I mean, yeah, you want to shoot as many free throws as you can. I think uh, just the way that they were playing me, uh, you know, the series can be very long. And you got to switch it up from game to game. Uh, Keep them honest, so shot fakes and things like that. See if they bite. Um, you know, and I, I had a couple of them tonight. Jason, like you said, you guys are a very talented team. For the past couple of years, you face also the Miami Heat. What's up with them that, that you either like or hate uh, that always give you guys a hard time? They have a great team, great organization, very well coached. They play hard. Uh, they don't compete every single night.